Hi, so it is without a doubt Tesla turbines are fantastic. It's also without a doubt they're an utter pain in the neck to make. Making that disc pack, getting the whole thing through, it's, it's a real nightmare to be honest. So I wanted to make a motor. It's a water motor, so it works in a very similar way to a Tesla turbine, but it's stunningly easy to make. And of course, we're going to make it from my favourite material. Builder's board or Sintra board. I love to use this stuff, it's so easy to work with. But equally, you could use alternative materials, okay? Now, the first thing we need to do is cut ourselves a disc. Okay, so when you cut your disc out, you need to keep that part because that's going to be the housing. You also need another one of those. So we've got two to create a double thickness. And then we have a back plate, which is just a flat plate with a hole drilled in it. And we have a front plate, which is exactly the same. And these are drilled out to take skater bearings. So we'll finish it by fastening all those together to make the motor housing. And of course, we're going to put an axle on that and drop it in the centre. So let's glue those together. Okay, so that's everything glued together, and I've cut an outlet right there. This plate will then go on there, and that will make our motor casing. Now, the motor itself, or rather the rotor, is obviously this plastic disc. Now, when we run this, what happens is a spray of water hits the plastic disc, and obviously that spins it in the same way a Tesla turbine works. So it would be here. Spin around there, water exits there. But of course, we've got to get the water in now. This works because it has a strong jet, a fine jet, and I've got this, which has a one and a half millimeter hole on the outside. You could use something like an oil can, for instance. We want to position that so it sprays onto this surface. This surface is clearly far too smooth, so to get this surface not smooth, we need to stick something to it. And what we're going to stick to it is nylon netting. This nylon netting is about 30 mesh, and if we stick that on there, and then trim around it, put the axle on, that will be our motor rotor done. So let's do that. Okay, that's glued on with super glue. And there's my jet. Like I say, oil can will do the same. That's going to have some force on there, which is why you need super glue on that to keep that uh, on as the water jets against it. Um, the more pressure, the closer you can get, clearly the better it's going to spin. But it's ready to go. All I have to do is put on this front plate, glue it all down, and get it connected to a water supply, and that's our motor. Okay, so I was contemplating this for quite a while. You can see I've turned the water supply on, so this is going to be going as I talk. And I was thinking, actually, to get a better sense of it, I've disassembled it a little bit. And you can see there that we've got the narrowing of the pipe, so we're using surprisingly little water but it is quite a forceful jet, and as I said, the jet needs to be next to the rough surface. I've also left off the cover plate so you can see actually how it works, and I've connected it to an LED and, of course, a motor. It's just a NEMA 17 stepper motor. So if we, jet correct, whoop, we connect that and direct the jet, of course it's going to generate. And there we go. Now the angle of the water is important. If we put it in an angle like that, it slows down. We get it out towards the edge and quite an acute angle. Then as you can see, it's producing quite a lot and that's spinning Billy off. It's surprising how fast it will spin when you get the angle right. So if you are going to make one of these, then you do need to play around with that angle a little bit. And you do need to make sure that you've got a 1.5 mil hole. And then, as I say, you don't use that much. You're using the pressure more than anything. So there's the motor I used as a generator. And actually gave quite a reasonable output. And it certainly was a hell of a lot easier to make than a Tesla turbine. And it ran pretty well. Now, it wasn't my idea. I actually got it from this, which is the Model Engineer and Amateur Electrician, Volume 4, uh, 1901. And <laughs> this thing was made in 1901 from steel mesh and uh, a co copper disc, I think. And it was used to do things like run sewing machines. They'd run a uh, single sewing machine with this motor. And running motors from in uh, your household pressure, the pressure in your household water supply, was in fact quite common and quite popular back then because there was pressure in the water supply and there wasn't an electrical service so people who wanted it could use an instrument like that as a um, method of generating their own electricity at home that was used to do things like run fans, run lights, run sewing machines. So this water motor 
is an old technology and all I've done is update it by making it in plastic and nylon so that it's a little more robust and a little easier to make. But that's where it came from and I thought it was an awesome idea so I thought I would share it with you because there is a usable amount of energy to be had from your um, home water supply and as we noticed using that very small jet means you actually don't use that much water. So the amount of water that you're using is quite a low volume and if you put something like this in line with say a storage tank or your washing machine or something like that you get quite a lot of energy from the pressure in the water supply before you then use the water for something like filling your toilet. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you. I hope it was of interest. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.